Hi guys. During this circuit breaker, I think most owners face problem with uh, the dog's nails. And since your groomers aren't open and they can't do anything for you, the nails are growing longer and longer. Even if there is no circuit breaker, I think a lot of owners do face this problem with the dog's nails. Okay. So today we have Logi here to explain about the different types of uh, equipment you would need to maintain your dog's nails. Okay. All right. So what are we going to use today? First, nail clipper, nail file, and a steptic powder if it's necessary. This is a stop bleed powder. You need it on standby all the time. Why? In case the nail does bleed, you don't need to panic, okay? You just need to dab this on the nail. Just put pressure on it. It's a yellowish type of powder. Okay, it's going to stop the bleeding almost immediately. So first, we need to understand the dog's nails. Are they similar to our fingernails? A little bit. Okay. So for us, right, the fingernail bed is where your blood is, for example. So if you cut your nail too short, of course it's going to be painful and it's going to hurt. But when you cut, when your nail is long and when you cut, you don't bleed. So it's pretty similar to the dog's nail. So first let's understand the dog's nail. Yeah? So for starters, let's say now the dog's, this is the dog's nail. Yeah? Okay, this is the paw and this is the nail. Okay. Inside this nail, there is the quick. This is what bleeds. Okay, so if let's say you're going to cut here now, obviously it's going to bleed. Lah. Right. So what we want to do is cut here and then fall down. So if you do this very often, you will find that your dog's quick actually recedes. It is able to recede. But of course not if you do it once a month, nothing's going to change, okay? We're talking about like almost uh, every day or every other day. So cutting and fouling. But you're not going to cut the nail every day. That's, that's not logical. So usually what we recommend is that you cut and then you foul. And from here you maintain. So if you're going to foul every day, alright, the nail gets shorter and shorter. It is able to be shorter because the quick will go become shorter and shorter as well. This is a healthy nail, okay? So what we want is to get the quick as short as possible and then the nail as short as possible. Why? Long nails are actually very painful for the dog, yeah? So imagine this is your dog's paw, okay? But when the nails are long, it's going to curl and it's going to be like that. Do you think this is comfortable for the dog? It's actually very painful. Huh? And then you'll find that sometimes the nail actually becomes crooked because there's no, no, nowhere else to go. It cannot go any further. It will actually bend to the side. And what you get is a distorted toe and it's usually permanent. So please prevent that. Okay, whether circuit breaker or not, I think it's a very healthy thing to do for your dog all the time. If you say send your dog for grooming every one and a half months, two months, by then the nail would have grown very long already. And then what we often hear from customers is, can you cut the nail as short as possible? But you see, we, we try to cut as close to the quick as possible, but there's a limit. If the quick is long, we can only cut that much, right? So nail maintenance is really more is an owner's job, I would say. Yeah, not so much your groomers because your groomers are not going to see you all the time. I'd rather see your dog all the time, right? And by then there's only so much we can cut. Okay. 
unless uh, you know there's going to be a lot of bleeding and that's not allowed so we are going to move on to the actual nail cutting I'm going to change the background to a dark one alright so you can see okay so now we have the actual dog's nail here this is a pretty long nail okay we've been keeping this to show you how we're actually going to do this so with a white nail it's always uh, easier because we can roughly see where the quick is it's not clear like crystal la. okay but at least uh, it's easier than the black nail right so we're gonna cut this and then show you okay. So we're going to do this nail first, right? If you're not sure, please don't go all the way in, please. That is uh, going to bleed for sure, okay? Cut off a little bit first. Check. Okay. Cut off a bit more. Check. Okay. You're not sure? Can you see that? Okay. So we're going to file down her nails. Okay. We're going to be using the um, Arturo. Arturo electric nail grinder. Okay. So personally, as with uh, a lot of professionals, they would prefer not to use it with this guide. Not really necessary. Okay? And it's a little more flexible. Okay. So you're going to file down the rough edges. Try to get it as round as possible. So when you cut, you got to leave a bit of gap for the fouling. Eh? Fouling is actually very good to shorten your dog's quick. Eh? So why why wild dogs don't need to go for nail cutting? Do they walk to a salon to get their good nails groomed? No, right. But they are out and about every day, They're walking on rough ground and all the time. So that's actually a natural file. But with a lot of our domesticated dogs, uh, with the apartments or you know homes that we live in, the floor is usually very very smooth. So that's not going to get any fouling done for sure. So you need to manually do this for them. Okay, we say we often advise clients to bring them out for walks on the rough ground. But it does help a little. Be very very active dogs. Okay, that kick a lot. But with uh, less active dogs, it doesn't really help. Okay, and uh, usually you see a bigger effect on the hind legs, but not the fore, the front fore legs. Yeah? Why? Because uh, obviously they don't kick with the front legs. Yeah? They kick with the back legs. So the kicking motion is a great grinding, uh, has a great grinding effect. Okay, but not so much for the front. Okay, so we are done. And there's a lot of uh, misconception on the dog's nail, you know. We think that uh, if we foul, okay, let's say you, you really don't dare to cut lah. Okay, you just want to foul down your nails. Okay, they say the heat grinder, the heat generated from the grinder will, will actually let the dog feel hot and painful. That That is uh, untrue lah, I believe. Yeah, because the dog's nail itself, okay, away from the quick, has actually no, no nerves or there's no feelings. So it doesn't feel heat or pain, okay? If it does, right, then trimming the fur will also be painful, right? But when we cut very near to the quick or we grind very near to the quick, then yes, they do feel uh, some sensations, a bit uncomfortable. So if you don't really don't dare to cut and you just want to grind, okay, don't be afraid, okay? Just, just grind. They don't feel anything, okay? Of course, you don't do it near the paw pad, lah. Okay, do it just, just like that. Cover the pop pad and just 
Right. It'll take longer, okay? It's not impossible. It is possible to just grind down the nails if you're really too afraid to to cut. Okay. Just grind. They do not feel anything, so don't be afraid, okay? Of course, cutting and fouling is a preferred. Uh, but I really understand that a lot of people do not dare to cut the nails. It's understandable if you had a bad experience, you know, that, that image of the bleeding nail sticks with you forever, right? And you think you've hurt your dog and you don't ever dare to cut the dog's nails again. But if you can overcome that, it's actually great. Otherwise, get it professionally done uh, by a groomer. Get the nails cut, okay, then from there on, maintain with a grinder. Then if you can do that, you know, you, you will never have a long nail problem, you know. Just grind, okay. So you don't see the dog struggling. You? No? The dog is feeling alright. Okay. So when you come near to the quick, okay, stop. No, don't go on and on. Huh? Stop. Okay, just do this every day or every other day. You'll find that the nail will actually be shortened. Okay. So shall we start a nail challenge? Everyone can do this. So you start day one with the nails like that, okay? So you can see a change in just 10 days. How short the nails can be. Okay. So with white nails, it's always easier. So what happens if your dog has black nails then? You're not able to see the quick. So when to stop? Okay, over here you can also see. I don't have a black nail with me right now, okay? But can you see there's a like a white circle on the cross section of the nail? There's a white circle. So that is actually an indication you are near the quick already. So it's time to stop. But when you fall every day, the quick is going to recede. Alright, it can go shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. If you maintain your dog's nail this way, okay, very soon. Your dog can have nails as short as here. Okay, then that is very very comfortable for your dog, and your dog will thank you for that. I'm sure. When it's long like that, this is uncomfortable. Okay, this is really uncomfortable. So don't be afraid. Try to overcome. You just need three items. So we've come to the end of the video. So do not be afraid of these things. Okay, they are here to help you. A healthier nail equals to a happier dog and in a lot less pain than you realize. Overcome this fear, you can do it. Okay? We have also included the links below if you need to purchase the equipment for your dog, alright? So go down below and check it out. You can do it, mummies and daddies.